Here we've got a Ham's beer sign from 1956. It's called the Ham's Rippler. It's a uh, TV Rippler. And it's the uh, it's a lake scene with uh, rippling water motion. And uh belonged to my grandfather. And I was given it recently and uh, I have a decent collection of signs already that I've had to fix up. So I'm going to see if I can I don't know, this one is so out of shape, I don't know if I'm going to be able to restore it at all. i got to take it apart and see if I can clean it, but there it is. All the main assemblies are taken apart. There's the back backing and scrolling mechanism and light. I'll probably have to replace most of that. I'm assuming this used to be white. These things are usually yellowed by just years of cigarette smoke. And there's the inside of the lake scene. There's a big crack in the in the scene. Uh, Three-armed crack. So sometimes you can find those online. They did make spares. So people buy, sell, and trade that stuff online. So restore it to its former glory. Land of Sky Blue Boy. Big Bear. All right, we got this thing almost completely taken apart now. The uh with that film, you can you can smell that old plastic smell from the 50s, man. That was pungent. Uh it was between two panes of glass and then I got all the apparatus taken apart here and I don't know if I can find a replacement uh, scroll. Maybe, hopefully I can, otherwise I'll just tape this one back together. It's already been ripped and, and taped once. So, get all this stuff white again and then see if I can get a replacement scene. I got uh, maybe half of the grime off of the, the outer box and the glass. Uh, luckily I was able to get a replacement scroll, so I don't need to reuse that piece of crap. And uh, I also scrubbed them with a toothbrush, which was necessary. I think I'm going to soak them again, though, because they're not completely clean. I'll never get them completely clean, but I think I can get them cleaner. And then here in the beer sign restoration room, here's the, uh, the inner frame and uh, back drop plate thing. I uh, had, had a local shop... Uh, Blast them and powder coat them. They look f fucking great. Nice and shiny. And then here's the replacement scene I got. Brand new reproduction. They're not really that expensive either. So now I gotta do is put it all back together and see what happens. Cheers. Alright. We got a uh, brand new scroll on there. That was hard to tape together, by the way. It was very hard. Got the light bulb back in. Got everything put back together. Splice to the cut wires. I'm gonna plug it in, see what happens. Without killing myself here. Hope got light. Got light. Scrolls moving. Practical application test number one complete. Yeah, babe! Ta-da! Is that beautiful or what? Some of these, uh, this aftermarket uh, logo plate didn't, isn't perfectly cut, so that's a little off. But, uh, this is beautiful. A little dude in his flannel shirt over there. He's going for a canoe. There you go. Ham's TV Rippler from 1956. Beauty. That was a lot of damn work, too.